Hi everyone. My name is Muhammad Sadiq. I have experience working with Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation. My core area is supply chain and finance. And prior to this, I worked with SAP. I have some SAP development experience as well. So today I'm going to start a training program which will enable the participants to complete Finance Functional Consultant Associate Certification. And in this, the participant have to complete two exams one is the core finance and operations and the other one is Microsoft Dynamics 365 finance. So the first exam, if I click here, the first exam is MB 300. And basically today we are starting with this preparation for this exam. And after completing this, we will start the other one which is MP310. Now coming back to MP300, in this exam, there are four core objectives or core areas. So the first one is common functionality and implementation, security processes and options, perform data migration, and then the validate and support the solution. If, if I click here to, to see the outline for this exam, so we see like uh, in the first identify common Microsoft Dynamics 365 finance features and functionality, we have certain bullets. So in this training, we will be having one recording or one session to cover one bullet point. If there are some, some confusion or some more detail is required as per request of the participants, so then I will create additional recordings to explain that concept. So, for each bullet, there will be one recording, and I will ensure the recording primarily should be based on the, on the system, rather than we just keep talking or we just uh, reading from the PPTs. So today I'm just uh, sharing the roadmap or how, how we're going to complete and conduct these trainings. And each training will be of duration, not more than 15 minutes. So the objective is so the student can keep focused and they can retain and understand in a very small span of 15 minutes. Okay, so let's start. And I, I might be rearranging these bullets as well. So today we are going to discuss this, demonstrate Microsoft Dynamics 365 finance navigation techniques. So what this means, like how we can navigate in the application. So I already logged in with Dynamics. So when, when you logged in, you will be able to see the screen like this. Okay. So let, let's explore the components, how we can divide this screen in different uh, components. So on the top, you, you see a different uh, top bar. So we, we, we will look into this. And on the left bar, that, that's the navigation bar. In this navigation bar, we have uh, this home. Home is this, this, whatever you see, that's a dashboard. So if you are navigated to some other screen and you want to 
come back to the dashboard. So you click here. Let me show you one example. So let's say I navigate it to the all vendors form. Let's wait. So it should appear. So this, this is already there is no vendor. So that's why it's blank. So if I need to go back to the home, so I can click here, this home, I will be on the dashboard. Okay. So let me explain one more thing. So there is another way to, to go back to the home. So if you click on this uh, finance and operation button, so you will be here. And you also see the shortcut, shortcut key. So if you click Alt, Shift and Home, you will be at the dashboard. So I will try to explain the shortcut keys and we will try to use the shortcut keys in our demonstrations as well. Okay, so so we good with this is the navigation bar. So we good with the home. Home is just a button which will navigate you to the dashboard. And then the next is the favorite. The favorite is like uh, if if there is some feature or form or some report which you want to use frequently, you can favorite it. So let, let's go to the modules and go to the account receivable, account receivable. Let's say I want to make this all customers as a favorite. So you see the star here. So star, if you click here, it means it will be added to the favorite. So if you click here and by looking at this, you, you, can, you can find out like which objects are added to the favorite. So if I go here to the favorite list, so I see the all customers form here. Okay, so we good with the favorite. The next one is the recent. So this recent shows all the forms or, or the reports or all those objects which are navigated. So let, let's do one more thing. So I go to the account receivable, let's navigate to all customers. I'm sorry, my net is slow, so you, you have to be with me. But maybe it's it's give you a moment to. Okay, so if I go to the recent, so you see like the all customers and before this I navigated to all vendors and some other forms. So we, we, we learned this recent and then is the workspace. So let's go to the dashboard. So in the dashboard, this is your dashboard. And in the middle, you see that this rectangular thing, we call it a tile. We talk about this tile later on. And this tile is basically a workspace. And workspace is containing, let's, let's navigate to one of the workspace. Let's say I'm going to let's say invoicing. Okay, so let's change the company. So because this is the, this, this is the navigation. If you click here and go to some other company because DAT is not having the data and uh, let's go to USMF. I will explain this this uh, company or legal entity box in a minute. Okay, so let's go to the dashboard go to the maybe again invoicing 
here you you can see like this is the invoicing this is the filter so you can filter by the vendor so if if you want to see all the invoicing which are submitted but not approved invoices which are paid by us and approved not paid and uh, you can see the list so in a workspace essentially we have tiles we have the list and we have the links so in the in the next session we will we will work on the workspaces we create a custom workspace and uh, explore explore it in bit details so i'm going back so essentially the idea of a workspace is it's it's a role based so if if someone is uh, responsible for the invoices so all the links or the data or the important information in a summarized way is readily available to that user so that that user is not like uh, remembering different navigations so that's easy for for the user to manage it so that's something about the workspace so you can uh, navigate to that workspace by just clicking on the tile the other other alternative is you go to this workspace the same workspaces are available in 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 a list form so you just go to the invoicing so it's the same workspace and you can also favorite it so so we good with the workspaces and then dynamics divided the application in certain modules okay and you can also bracket these modules in three major areas one is uh, finance the second one is the supply chain and third is uh, the human resource and maybe you can say the fourth one is the general administration or some shared functionality so let let me say something like in the finance we we can uh, say like uh, account payable receivable asset management and some other modules will be in finance and in the supply chain we will be having the procurement sales and marketing and in the hr we have the human resource and some other so as we move along maybe in the third or fourth session i will explain how we can divide all these modules in three major areas like finance supply chain and the human resource so today objective is just to understand the navigation so on the left this is the navigation pane so we we know like uh, in this navigation pane which objects we have and we explore each object in a bit details and in the middle we we already seen like these tiles are the workspaces and on your uh, on your left so we see the calendar so this calendar is basically giving you the session date and by default it's a current date but if if you want to post some transaction in the past for instance you missed missed posting some invoice or some other document in the past and you want to post in the past provided that in in the past that period is open that that we understand as we move along so you just click like let's let's say i want to post on 2nd of april so i just click click here i will get the message so do you want to change your session date to this so if i want to i say yes so this session like you can assume like you are not like on 7th of april you are on second of april so all the transactions will be posted on second of april okay dynamics also have a very rich functionality of workflow so in a workflow some task maybe you need to approve maybe you need to review so all these tasks on which you need to take some actions so those tasks will be shown here 
in, in this dashboard. So, so all the work items assigned to you will be listed here. You just click that uh, work item and you can go, go to that work item and then take the necessary or what's required. You, you, you can do that. Okay, so so we good with this a uh, middle box. So we, we explored each and everything. We we good with the left navigation pane. So this is the navigation search. So basically, this navigation search is if I go to the modules and account payable and the all account payables and all vendors. So the navigation for the vendor is you need to go to the account payable and then all vendors. So let's say the easier way is if you don't want to three, four, you want to avoid those three, four clicks, you can type something which may be quick for you to, to find out. Let's say I want to find all vendors. So I just type A and V. So when I say A space V, so it means like it, it will give me all the forms, reports, or all the objects in which the in which the first word starts with A and the second word starts with V. But I'm looking for all vendors. So if I say A, V, E, N, so I'm, I'm there. So all vendors. So and it, it also shows the navigation. So you can so basically it's a navigation search, but you are not like doing the navigation search. Basically you searching the functionality which is available at a certain navigation. And navigation is also being shown beneath the function. So all vendors, the navigation is account payables and vendors. So you can click here and you will be navigated to that. Okay, so then there is a company code or legal entity pane. So here you, you have uh, might you might have one or multiple legal entities. So Dynamics is a truly enterprise uh, ERP solution. You can uh, create multiple legal entities for uh, for maybe multiple countries with uh, different accounting frameworks, with different uh, currencies, with different languages. So it, it's a truly enterprise uh, solution which can be like uh, work as a global system. So that's something about this pain. And then there is a so if there are some system messages, you can see if you click here, you, you can see all the messages and then there are some settings. So as we move along, we will explore each and every object, icon, functions. So then there is a help. Dynamics provide excellent way of helping the user. So it, it provides a context based help. What that means, it means like if you are on a account payable and vendor, so and you click that help, so all the help which is related with, with your current navigation, like the vendors, so that help will, will be available to you. And then you can see the admin or the user logged in user information. And uh, and that's it. So today's session was just very simple introduction about myself, what goals and what objectives we we going to achieve in this training. Might be I, I took some more time today, and uh, how we can navigate in this dynamics. So thank you very much for listening to me. I hope you you're going to watch the next and upcoming training sessions. Thank you very much. Take care.